back at it now and we're into Farron Woods and we stumble upon this little beanie baby who's getting bullied by these two the goblins. We save the day and we go after our new friend who's made a dash for it. Frightened by our presence, the creatures start hiding around the air and we have to go find it. Slashing the mushrooms makes it flee and we continue that until it finally feels comfortable enough to have a conversation. He introduces himself as Machi and we find out that Zelda has passed through here. He asks whether we can let the Kikui Elder know of his location. Fire then makes him crap himself and our next mission is underway. To get to next area we have to go up this sandy incline and we see a few large rocks at the top which we can deliver to this gross plant. First attempt. Bow ball. And here's the real deal. Nice throw! These Octo Rocks have a lot of fun spitting projectiles at us, so a few knocks to the face, get to a rope and have a swing on that, which gets us to the Elder Kickweed. He gets up and turns around like an intimidating pair, and says he'll help us if we find the three remaining missing Kickweed. Well, we're strong, we're fast, and we're fresh from the fight, so we get to it. We get a flashback to gym class while navigating this tightrope. On the other side, we meet a whole pack of red begoblins that need taken care of. With that done, we see beside the battle area a tree, and we discover a kickwee is stuck at the top. We think back and remember our training, and boom, Lopsa is saved. We swing up to the next area and get shat on by these birds on our new clean clothing. Revenge is sweet. Talking about sweet, across this tightrope we find a piece of heart. Progress is being made. We have a little look around the air and find a hole. We hop down and find our second kick week, Hulo, doing a top camouflage job I may say. After some dowsing we see some vines to climb, so we head on up and find our last kick week, once it stops trying to hide under bushes of course. Now Erla has been found, we head on back to the elder pair and we notice something we didn't before. He tells us Zelda ran off into the deep woods and presents us with a reward from his back, um, hole? <laughs> and that is the slingshot. We complete a bit of training for the slingshot and go to the area of the ancient ruins. Here we shoot down this green rope, climb up to enter the deep woods. In here we find a few hornets nests so we do the only thing we know and destroy them. A sneaky begoblin tries his luck on the tightrope, so we cheer him on with a nut to the face. We have a few more meetings of the same ilk and a back and forth with a fresh plant bearing before meeting up with our new pal, Gorko. Or shall we say, our new acquaintance. He tells us about the goddess cubes and insists we help him out, so we skyward strike the cube and it sends a ball of energy up to Skyloft and a treasure chest will be waiting for us. We repeat that action on another cube around the corner and we are now placed in front of a door. Above it is a pink diamond which we shoot with our slingshot and we enter our first temple, the Skyview Temple. And that is where we will leave it today, a little short one before our first temple. But if you did enjoy it, please do slap it a like and I'll see you next time.